G'day, this is Riley. And Grace from Anna Knuckles. We did a video of a couple of hearts that I cut for a customer a few months ago, and you guys have asked us how to cut those hearts. So we're going to put together a tutorial today on exactly how to do that. Um, it's not a beginner's video. It's a tricky thing to do, and it's a really tricky thing to do right. So we're going to include a lot of steps. It might be a bit of a longish video, but um, this is for, intended for you to learn how to do it. So we don't want to skip anything. If you're on board, find an opal. We're going to use this one today. It's a crystal opal, a nice green crystal opal from Lightning Ridge. Um, if you can find something that's you know about six millimeters thick uh, and about sixteen millimeters by sixteen millimeters, that'll be perfect for this project. Second, it's really hard to draw a perfect heart by hand. So go onto the internet or your phone screen and take a screenshot and then print out a picture of a small heart like this. Yeah. And then this works really well for you to cut out and then use as a template for your heart. Yeah, if you don't have a printer, you can always just put your paper up to your screen and then lightly trace it with your pencil. And it's another great way to get a perfect, perfectly proportioned heart. Yeah, but don't draw on your screen. Don't draw on your screen. <laughs> Once you find a heart, use image editing software to shrink your heart down to the size of the opal. We're using Pixelmator Pro here, but you can use Photoshop. There's a bunch of other free software that you can use to shrink images down. Once you have your heart, pop it on the opal to see if it fits. Now we'll grind both sides flat enough so that you can trace your heart pattern on it. Now draw your heart design onto your opal. The lower portion of the heart is slightly concave. Right now I'm using convex nature of the wheel to cut that concave part of the heart. Okay, now for the trickiest part of the process, I'm using the corner of my 230 grit centered wheel to eat into um, the top of the heart. Now you use both sides of the wheel to do this. So you use the, the left side of the wheel to cut the right side of the indent, and then you'll switch over and use the right side of the wheel to cut the left side of the indent. Now that you have the shape of the heart exactly where you want it, you're going to start taking off the upper corner um, bit by bit and using both sides of the wheel just like you did to cut the end in. Now on the 280 grit Nova wheel, we start taking out all of the facets. Just like we did with the 230 grit wheel, you use the left side of the wheel to take out the facets on the right side of the heart, and the right side of the wheel to take out the facets on the left side of the heart. The 
quick note here when working on the sides of your wheels. If you don't normally work on the sides of your wheels or if you normally cut in the middle and you have new wheels, the sides of your wheels are going to be razor sharp compared to the rest of the wheel. And so um, if you try to do this and, and you haven't worn down the sides of your wheels, it'll make horrible scratches in, in, the, in the top part of the heart and make it almost impossible to do this. So you might want to do this with some pieces of potch first in order to start to take the to take the teeth out of the sides of the wheel. Um, and, and once they're worn down just a bit, you'll be able to get the kind of results that I'm getting here. Now that the cutting is pretty much all done, we start on the 600 grit wheel uh, to start the polishing process. And then we're going to go through the rest of these wheels pretty quickly because this process is the exact same on every wheel. So I'll show you a bit of it here. Um, but from here, from the 600 grit wheel, I go to the 1500 grit and then the 3000 grit.